But he gon' get that, get it that, get it that, get it that Send shots, make him get back On that chit chat, chit chat, riff rap, riff rap My niggas ain't Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Today I have six habits that I change to help myself be more successful And I'm pretty sure that at least one will relate to you as well So let's get straight into the video But wait Before anything else press that subscribe button okay thanks so my first habit to change is to spend less money on unnecessary items now let's face it especially as females we spend money on so much clothes and shoes and accessories and makeup and a lot of stuff that we actually don't really need we just always get it just in case so that's how i was before i would literally spend money online all the time buying things and six months down the line, I would end up throwing them out or giving them to charity because I just didn't wear them anyway. So that's one thing that we really can change and it will really help you because it will cut down your spending, give you more money for savings or to spend on something that you actually need to. So next time when you go into a shop, ask yourself, okay, like, do I really need it though? No? leave it not just with clothes shopping as well but going to the supermarket how many times do we just say oh i'm just gonna go to pop to the shop for some bread and then you end up coming back with like 10 different things and it's like okay oops so just try and keep your spending down because that will really help you to become more successful because you're going to save more you're going to invest more into things that you actually really need to and things that will be able to help you my second habit that i had to change was to stop being so emotional and i know everyone has emotions everyone has feelings everyone has them but when you're too much and it's over the top it can really damage you like it's some serious damage control because while you're getting so worked up and emotional about things you don't even think or have time to actually look at the bigger picture of what's actually happening in front of you and that's what was happening to me i was literally so emotional to the point where every little thing like the tiniest thing would literally get on my nerves and make me upset and get me so emotional and i just had to stop doing it because it was already irritating for me but then it was irritating for people around me as well because it's just like oh my gosh like I can't tell her this I can't tell her that she's gonna take it in the wrong way she's gonna be so emotional about it so in essence I was actually really hindering myself as well especially from maybe learning or knowing things that could actually improve and help me but people were just very scared to say things because they knew I was so touchy about things so try to be less emotional about things and sometimes you have to know that people are really coming from a good place when they tell you things it's not everything that is said out of malice or said to make you feel down no people say things because they care about you and a lot of the time truth does hurt but it's something that we need to hear to help us build a thicker skin so just think about that as well. The third habit I have is to be your own hype woman or hype man. Let me tell you, you have to look at yourself as the sugar honey iced tea. You gotta look at yourself like, yes, I am it. I'm that girl, I'm that guy, I'm that woman. You need to look at yourself like you are the best thing ever because let's face it, when you have projects or something you're investing in or anything that you're doing to be honest anything you need to believe in yourself first because you can't keep on expecting and looking for other people to have faith and to believe in you you need to do it yourself first because why should they if you don't be your number one supporter hype yourself up really gas yourself up when it comes to doing things and really congratulate yourself as well because that's one thing that a lot of people don't do enough of is when you actually achieve something you can be happy but really treat yourself you know you've done a good job so why not so just make sure that you're really happy yourself up and you're really being your number one supporter and your biggest fan because it does make such a huge difference in how you progress in life and you know helps you to get places a lot quicker number four is to get rid of procrastination i know it's something that i struggled with before because boy I would be trying to always use the I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow and you know tomorrow never comes so I had to really learn the hard way and actually literally force myself to do things and in the moment 
you feel like oh i really don't want to do this i'd rather be sitting down i'd rather be on social media or whatever but in that moment it was like okay i need to actually do this for myself so that i can get used to doing things and then when it comes down to it you actually thank yourself you're like oh i did this and i did that like there's so many times that i've been in situations where i was like Whew, thank god i did that when i did it because it was a it was a close call it's like when you have um an essay for example like don't write that essay a couple hours before <laughs> yeah the night before you're cramming you're doing everything no get it done before early on and then you're stress-free you don't have to worry about it so that's one thing that you really should be doing to help yourself be successful because if you have plans and if you have things that you want to achieve if you keep on putting them off until tomorrow they're never going to happen and you're not going to be able to see yourself where you want to be in the amount of time that you expect it to. Number five is to use your talent and your skills for your own benefit. And obviously what I mean by that is you can make a living off your talent. We all have so many different talents and I'm not saying to use every single one of them, but at least take something that you're good at, that you know you're good at and use it. Like there's no point having a talent and it just going to waste because you're not really using it. Even if you do something as a hobby that could just start off like that like invest in it really take care of these things because sometimes you're wondering scratching your head thinking what could i do hmm, i need a business idea i want to start my own business but i don't know what to do you can sew open your own fashion line you can bake cakes open your own bakery like there's so many different stuff and a lot of the time it's right in front of our faces but we don't even consider it but that could be a really big difference between what's going to make you so successful and what's going to set you back years sometimes. So really think about your talents and actually think about what you could be doing and using for your own benefit and to actually gain from those things. My last habit is to create a five year plan. And I know it's one thing that a lot of people ask like, oh, what's your five year plan? And a lot of people are like, well, I don't really have one because five years is not really that, that far away. To be honest, five years is actually kind of, it's quite a bit of time to achieve quite a few things. So I would always say, write down your goals, whatever you want to do, whatever you're planning to do, make sure you make note of it. And I'm not saying that you have to get this big board and start sticking pictures on and everything like that. If you want to do it that way, then that's fine. You can do it on the computer or whatever, not. You can write it out yourself. You can literally just get a notebook and write down your goals. Like, it's that simple. It doesn't have to be this big thing that you take hours to do and to design and create. Like, it doesn't have to be that. Just literally you thinking about what you want and where you want to be in five years and writing it down and then ticking things off as you go along because if you don't have something that you're working towards it's like you're basically just kind of sailing through life make sure you have something that you're actually working towards whether it be a career a project a, a car a house um something that you just want to change about yourself like there's so many different things and it's personal to you don't feel like you have to share it with people as well like you can keep it just between yourself and yourself if you want to but just make sure that you do actually write these things down well that was the last habit um these are all things that i changed to help me be more successful and i definitely saw results from each and every single one of them when i changed them so hopefully there'll be at least one thing that you can pick up on and be like hmm it's true i need to change this and actually work towards changing that don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already as i said in the beginning do it i'll be back with another video as always so until then bye